One sunny afternoon, Nikki, a compassionate American woman, was driving home after a long day at work. As she rounded a bend in the road, her eyes caught sight of a tiny, trembling creature huddled by the roadside. Nikki pulled over, her heart aching for the small, helpless raccoon that had been left orphaned by fate. With a determined spirit, she scooped up the raccoon and cradled him gently in her arms. His eyes, still closed, were filled with fear and vulnerability. Nikki rushed the tiny raccoon home, where she faced a daunting challenge. She had a demanding job and a busy life, making it almost impossible to provide the round-the-clock care the baby raccoon desperately needed. However, her elderly mother Linda stepped in without hesitation. Linda became Little Han's surrogate mother, dedicating herself to his care. She fed him every two hours from a tiny syringe, making sure he received the nourishment necessary for his fragile state. She bathed him, kept him warm. A deep bond blossomed between Linda and the baby raccoon. Little Hands, as they affectionately named him, would nuzzle into Linda's warm embrace, feeling safe and loved. He'd curl his tiny paws around her fingers, a gesture of trust and gratitude that melted Linda's heart. Time flew by, and Little Hands grew strong and healthy under Linda's watchful eye. The moment of truth approached, as he reached an age where he needed to return to the wild. With a heavy heart, Linda and Nikki took Little Hands to a nearby wooded area. They released him into the wilderness, praying that he would adapt and thrive in his natural habitat. Days turned into months, and Linda continued to leave food out on the porch, a silent invitation to the raccoon she had raised. She hoped that, perhaps one day, Little Hands would return to visit, even if just for a moment. Then, a miracle happened. One evening, as the sun cast long shadows over the porch, Linda heard a soft rustling. Her heart skipped a beat as she saw a familiar silhouette emerge from the woods. It was Little Hands. He had come back to the place where he had found love and shelter. Little Hands now lived independently in the wild, having found a family of his own and a home among the trees. Yet, he never forgot the woman who had saved him, cared for him, and loved him as her own. He would visit Linda's porch, seeking affection, treats, and cuddles. The bond that had formed between them endured, unbroken by the passage of time. 